How are you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. So I want to get right to it, literally. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know you're so busy with those two beautiful babies. But I saw your post online, and um, obviously, because it's in the news, I know that you are having an issue with your child support, and you would like those payments increased. And you made a post that alluded to the idea that because you are no longer, you know, having a sexual relationship with Offset, um, who is the father of one of your children, um, the beautiful baby who just celebrated a birthday recently, um, would you like to speak on that and, you know, like, give your perspective? Is that how you feel? Yeah, I mean, that's... That's that's pretty much how I feel. You know, it's 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 a little bit easier to to get what you need and what you want from somebody if you're abiding by their rules. But once you start going up against the grain and you start doing stuff for you, you know what I'm saying, stuff that's gonna make you happy, that's when when people like to like like to uh flex flex them up a little bit and try to hold out on providing the things they want what. Okay. Because I saw recently on some music, I literally watched a video and I was pleasantly surprised because I'll be honest, there are a lot of different women that come up and say that they want to rap. But um, I listened and I actually watched the video that you had put out. You are so talented. You're really actually talented and can rap and are a beautiful woman. So um, are you, you know, talking about things like that? Just you trying to handle your business as well? Thank you so much. Um, I still, I still do the music. I do work, you know what I'm saying, a full-time job because, you know, the bills still got to be paid. Right. And, and um... And I moved to Atlanta. So that's really like where the big, you know what I'm saying, the whole that I'm lacking resources falls at. Because I'm, I'm living in a city where I don't have no family and no friends. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no support system here. I where are you from? My daughter's uh -huh. Where are you from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so you're in a mm -hmm. new city with your family just trying to do your thing and make it. Right, right, right. Trying to, trying to, trying to, um, be of an environment as I can for my children to live in. You know, it's a lot living in a, in a household as a single mother where, you know, I get up early to get them ready for school. I might not get off of work till, till about 4.35. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I got to rush into Atlanta traffic, Atlanta traffic. Hell, we might not get home till about 6.30. And I got to hurry up, cook dinner. You know, it it just be a lot with no support. So Right. And then you deserve really it. What, and it was different. You know what I'm saying? It was different back then. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff has changed in like last year and a half. Um, as far as, you know, his wife, I I really, I, I honestly have no problem with his wife. I don't feel like she's responsible for no man's actions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's a grown man. Yes, she could try to influence him mm -hmm. to do the right thing, but... It's just an insult to what the fuck I went through when I was pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't have nobody when I was pregnant. I was living in Atlanta. I had that baby by myself in the hospital by myself. I had a C-section. I had to get myself out the bed so I could grab my baby so I could feed my baby. By myself. I didn't have nobody. You know what I'm saying? I had her as a newborn by myself. One of my closest homeboys is like a brother to me. He had to step up so I could go back to work so I could pay the bills. I never went public. So don't think that this live here is for clout chasing or nothing. It's just for expressing my, my, my side of the story or what women go through. Because I feel like low-key he kind of put the blame back on me by saying that you didn't know me. When it was both of our faults. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I got pregnant the first time we had sex. Yes. Yes, I did. You get what I'm saying? We didn't live in the same city, so it's not like we had a relationship together. We wasn't in a relationship. It was 4th of July. You get what I'm saying? So it was just like, my shit happened. It was because I knew who my baby daddy was. People back in the city knew who my baby daddy was. Well, they knew it was one of the Migos. A lot of people thought it was Quavo for some reason. I don't know why. But a lot of people knew who, what was going on. You get what I'm saying? My baby's name is Kalia. It starts with a K. I knew what I was naming my child. My child still has my last name to this day. You get what I'm saying? And um, even I, and like I said, I'm not trying to take nothing away from him because he has came a long way. He's came a long way. He has. You get what I'm saying? But don't make me look so... Cr don't try to put the blame on me like it was my fault to the public because you're trying to be like... You're, you're trying to put the blame off of you. You're not accepting full responsibility.